Hello Collective. Hello Collective. Let's see whose energy pulls out today, Collective. Scorpio. Libra. Cancer. Taurus. Pisces. Aquarius. Okay, that's all I'm getting out, you know. So, we got an eight, seven. I think that's when my sister was born. No, she was born in 88. One of my cousins was born in 87, I remember. And then we got a four and a two and a 12 and 11. I'll be 42 when my birthday comes in Aquarius. So we got Scorpio, Libra, Cancer, Taurus, Pisces, and Aquarius. <coughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome 111. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you. Um, for all my loyal support, I thank you very much, and I appreciate you. This is the only reading I'm doing today on Saturday. I'm, I feel drained so bad, and I need to get outside and, uh, and, fit, and mow my yard one last time because I haven't did it in a long time. Excuse my grandma. My granny nightgown. Excuse it. Uh, someone is expecting, expectation. They're, you're expecting the best at the moment. You're like, hey, see that cat right there? That cat's like, hey, I expect y'all give me a good fish now. I've been wanting a good fish. <laughs> Maybe somebody says you got a good fish, Divine Feminine. I don't know. But you you kept focus and you kept your eyes on the prize this whole time. You didn't lose sight of what you was working towards. And, and that's wonderful. And uh, what's going on right now at the moment is you're getting ready to receive and you're receiving the gift and you're accepting this gift. That's what it is. So whatever you've been focusing on, it's coming to life. And it could have been your alchemizing. And this is you're turning your base motives and goals into gold and wisdom. That's what you're doing. That's why you expect the best because you're smart. And, uh, and you're, you're focusing your eyes on the prize because you're the engineer. you got a talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas, okay? Uh, you you uh, know how to help solve problems, okay? And you give creative energy uh, a practical expression. And uh, you're receiving and accepting the gift. And this is great powers of observation and intuition. The desire to seek out the truth. See, that's why the de detective come out, and that's why it said you're accepting the gift, and it's funny, like, because one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, um, you'll see why I said that in a minute. Okay, so now this under expect the best, you're alchemizing your golden wisdom. Um, you're very, uh, you could be a queen of pentacles, you know, and this is water and earth energy, and if you had a question, it's yes, okay, and uh, this is uh, the third deacon is is Sagittarius and the second deacon is in Capricorn and this is upright uh she is a nurturing practical providing financially a working parent see you're alchemizing because you keep working you you keep working on this daily that's why I mean and uh on your goals and I'm proud of y'all for doing that because it's hard you know and I keep working on my goals all the time y'all and I've always worked you know this is the only time I sit down and I'm trying to build a business and I thank you all and I appreciate you and I'm telling y'all to keep your eyes on the prize focus don't let nothing throw you off your focus because when you do because when you do they'll win you know because this engineer is a narcissist and upside down okay and uh you know, in in the dark, you know, it's uh they ha they they don't have regard for him or for their emotional consequences. But that's not what it is. You you're uh you're somebody who can fix problems and you're you're you know, you're on your full journey and this is uh unlimited possibilities. This the fool, this is air and Uranus energy and this is about new beginnings and possibilities, innocence, spontaneous, optimism. 
Trust in life, blind faith, adventure, opportunity, pleasure. Ooh, you get ready to receive a lot of opportunities and you're going to be able to adventure a lot more places. And you had blind faith this whole time and you kept working diligently. And uh, that's why Raw give you the gift of uh, intuition. And you can show it to others because you're a high priestess. You're a high priestess. Any of these signs up here, you're a high priestess. And um, this is because you, you know how to use your intuition. This is the balance of opposites. Uh, this is sacred knowledge. This is about the subconscious, the divine feminine. Trust yourself, sensitivity, purity, high morals. So you got high mor uh, morals, you know, and uh, you trust yourself, and that's good. And uh, people can say that you're this and that, but you know, you're not. You're somebody who who sees. You, you're somebody who has a lot of sacred knowledge, and they can't take it away from you. And people see, it, you know. And uh, I thank you all for clicking on my video because my channel was going up, 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 and then it just like plummeted. And I, I thank you all for my recent subscribers. I think I got three back, and I appreciate y'all so very much. Y'all don't know how much I appreciate you, okay? But uh, you you got to keep using your knowledge because um, somebody is wanting to cause a lot of disagreements at the moment, and they're wanting to compete with you. This is um, this is a uh, first deacon in Aquarius. This is five of swords. Uh, Maybe you was feeling like you had to win at all costs, or this other person was, and they was uh, sneaky and a bully. What I think it's saying, you saw through that there's a fucking sneaky bully around that's stealing from you, and they've abused you. This is an abusive relationship. Not only did they mentally abuse you, they fucking physically abused you. So why are you trying to hang around it? You're married. This is about your marriage. When you see pinnacles, queen of pinnacles, that's what the fuck that means, okay? That's what that means, I'm telling you. A uh, marriage. So, um... Hang on. <coughs> Somebody needs to stop feeling all this disappointment that you can't save this marriage and... It, and get away from this feeling of abandonment. And you need to walk away and leave behind this dickhead, arrogant asshole. I'm telling you right now. Because uh, you're, you're, you're in the manifestation process at the moment. You got a lot of skills. And, and you got a lot of absolute decisions about business. You got to let go of that ego. And you know, that's what I'm doing. And that's that's water. That's eight of cups. That's water in the first deacon of Pisces, okay? And then, I mean, both cards. Look. Look here. You saw through all this. That, that all this fighting. Uh, Excuse me. That's why both these cards come out right here. I did. I saw all this at my old job, y'all. I'm not going to lie. And I see it in this new opportunity I'm trying to build for myself at the moment. This tarot land. You know, there's... There's going to be a lot of disagreements and competition, but when that goes on, readers, let me give y'all a little hint of advice. Don't watch other readers. When they's a, when you see readers is doing that to you, don't watch. Don't pay no mind to them, because when you pay mind to them, you feed it. You feed that energy, so don't feed it. I've not been feeding it. If y'all think I am, you crazy. I'm not feeding it. Um, This was about a transition. Uh, This is a second deacon in Aquarius, uh, Seven of Swords. This is moving from rough waters to calm waters okay uh this is about moving so you'll feel balanced you're somebody who has a lot of solutions and your harmony and your healing and you you're very empathetic this is about leaving behind the past and release this always fucking baggage that isn't yours and move on and away from it and that's what you're doing and this is a lot of a uh, a lot of aquarius come out one two three four Aquarius cards come out down here so I mean if you're at Aquarius and Aquarius pulled out right there five so I mean you're the one who is uh got a lot of uh you, you observe others intuition and if they're real or not you're somebody who can do that Aquarius yeah and um 
So you're moving on and headed towards uh, your emperor. Oh, and this is a fire and Aries energy, and this is about your original, uh, your your organizational skills, and you're very reliable and the ability to work hard. Uh, this man knows how to work hard. This emperor, he's highly respected in the community. This is about leadership, stability, structure, rules and power, authority, father figure, protection, control, discipline. Focus, practicality. So, this emperor, this stable father figure, you're moving towards it. And the emperor has his eye on you, Star. Actually, he does. Yes, he does. That's why Star come out behind emperor. I love that spirit. Do y'all love it? And, uh, I'm burning up. Y'all having a damn hot flask. So you're you're becoming a leader. It, you don't even have to be going towards the emperor. You don't have to be going towards the emperor. This is saying you're a leader. You was meant to lead your star like me, and I knew I was. And I told y'all, and, and or maybe it's saying you 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 moved away and you're going towards this Aries, because he eleven eleven twin flame. I love you because you, he he knows you're his star and he's your star. And this is Iron Aquarius and. And uh, 17, and this reduces to an 8. And this is about power and success, you know. And uh, this is about, you're in the upright. This is about hope and calm and faith, purpose, renewal, uh, spirituality. This is about your fortune. This is a good omen. You're feeling rejuvenation at the moment. This is my energy. See, so you're somebody who pours out all your love and affection. So, I mean... I like that reading. So what it's saying is, um, you're somebody who has always been a working parent. This is a uh, spontaneous new beginning that you started. You're feeling pleasure on this, uh, with this occupation that you're doing. There's you got numerous possibilities, and uh, you you you're balanced. In the opposites, you know, masculine and feminine, you're balanced in it, and uh, you're someone that used your intuition, and and you and you got a lot of high morals, and and you're the divine feminine, you know. This is divine feminine. My deck it says it is, and divine feminine. Uh, you you got tired of being conflicted with this person and in disagreements and competing all the time, and because uh. You, Somebody was trying to be a sneaky motherfucking bully and they're a thief and they're abusive in their relationship and you saw through this shit and you walked away and you said, no, no, I don't, I, I'm saying no to your fucking dickhead ego, buddy. Or it could have been to your own ego. You take it as it is. You you moved on and you changed and and now you're being, uh, you, you're going towards your emperor or you, or you are the emperor, you know, this is about your leadership and authority skills, but... I think that this father figure loves you and they protect you, okay? And uh, they're disciplined and they love you, Star. They see you as a calm, loving being and they have faith in your all's purpose and in your all's spiritual path that you're all going to have good fortune. I love spirit. Do y'all love spirit? If y'all love that reading, then you need to tell Tell Pound Star Oracle how much you loved it and you need to hit subscribe to my channel, you guys. Would you do that for me? And I thank you. And I thank you. And I love you. And I thank you. I like it. I love it. Yes, I do. And then here's my new cards up here. And what came out was Elephant. And this is uh, Lucky in India and Southeast Asia. And this is about, uh, the elephant is one of the seven treasures of the universal monarch in Buddhism. It is also associated with Ganesha, the elephant-headed Hindu god of prosperity, wealth, and luck. While Indra, king of the gods in Hindu mythology, is often shown being carried by a white elephant called Aravata in Thailand. White elephants are regarded as a symbol of royalty and are so respected that they're treated as deities. Ooh, they're treated as deities, these elephants. Ooh. 
And it says, put a painting of an elephant by your front door. Move it to your office if you want to focus on your career. Oh, wow, well, it just told you something to do right there to focus on your career. Oh, and I see these all the time in my house, and they land on me. I love it. And this is uh, lucky in several cultures around the world. As tradition goes, farmers used to pray to the Virgin Mary to protect their crops. And when these small red and black spotted insects arrived to eat the pest, they were called the beetle of Our Lady in her honor, which over time was shortened to ladybirds, ladybugs in the United States, but everywhere else they're called ladybirds, okay? The Turkish name is Ergiberbosage, I don't know how to say it, good luck bug. If a ladybird lands on you, count the spots on its shell to find out how many months of good luck you'll have. If a ladybug lands on you, you're due some good luck. See, I told you I had this land on me. I knew it before I ever read it. This is a brand new card, see? So remember, when a ladybug lands on you, it's good, good luck. Okay, you guys? Hang on a minute. I thank you, Spirit God and Spirit Team and all my spirit family that's tied to my channel. I love y'all. I love you guys so much. And I appreciate you. And remember, y'all got to help me get to 500 so I can give a, give a deck away. 1616. <coughs> and um, then we got Kachinas. Oh, looky there. Indian. I love his spirit. And I love how spirit throws out stuff. This is a traditional in Pueblo Indian religions in the southwest of North America. These Hopi figures symbolize nature spirits. That connects humans with the spirit world. Made from the root of the cottonwood tree. Uh, excuse me. Which can find water in the driest climate. The Kachina figures visit the village for the first half of the year. There are over 200 different types of Kachina. And each can use its individual powers for human good. The sun-faced Kachina, for example, brings warmth and a positive future. How to capture, look, protect your home and attract good fortune by welcoming in a Kachina. Oh, we need to get us a Kachina. It's made out of a cottonwood. But it's made out of the root of a cottonwood tree. And um, I have something that my son made me, y'all, years ago, and if I find it i'll show it to you it's brown i don't know what they made it out of it looks like dried tobacco stalks but it could be this i don't know but they made it at school for me many years ago my boys is 20 almost 22 and 20 so i gotta tell you okay and then right here's meditation it says i meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me yeah so you gotta meditate and pray you gotta do that faithfully and when you do that the divine gives you a lot of help. I I know that. So you need to meditate and bring that elephant painting to your room and focus on your career. That's what it's saying. And um and uh, it says I follow my own unique path with courage and strength. This is about your own path. See there, look. And right here's Indian uh, dream catcher. See it. So spirits always catches your dreams and uh. And um, this these ladybug these ladybugs has landed on you in your path, and you're due some good luck. You're due good luck in this path. That's what it just said, and in your career. And these kachinos, um, it, this will attract good fortune to your home if you welcome in one of those. And it says, "I am open to all of life's wisdom." And share it with gratitude. Oh, I uh, see. So look, Indian. Look at her. The old Indian crone. This is the flames of wisdom. So you're somebody who might be a grandmother, and I am. And uh, you, you're open to sharing your wisdom with others. And, you know, I, I love everybody. And, you know, I'm sorry. Sometimes I say, like, things like, don't copy. I'm just saying don't copy everything of all my cards because when you do that, y'all, my practice won't grow. And I mean, I'm I'm not saying that you can't say it. Just remember not to write them because I'm trying to help my practice. That's all I'm saying. I love everybody. I'm, I'm being honest. Even people who has done me wrong, I, I can get over things. I've always been easy to do that because I'm an Aquarius. Uh, 
we're the sign that knows how to talk, collaborate. Do you understand what that means? We know how to build businesses. We're geniuses. And we got a lot of ideas, and, and I've poured out a lot of my ideas, and people stole it from me in this spiritual community, but it's all right. And it's okay. I'm not, I'm not, because my spirit team will get back at them. It's all right. It, I don't have to do nothing. Nope. I don't have to do nothing. And uh, here's what else we got to worry about collective. Uh, and I got this pulled out. So I got us a story of mine pulled out already. So y'all didn't have to stand and wait. So uh, feminine energy. So divine feminine, it pulled out twice. This is about you opening your heart. And it's soft. This is about softness in your in your voice and in your heart. Your and this is about vulnerability. Uh, you you used to like to chase thrills and loved a life. That's why euphoria come out. You're receptive to chasing thrills in life, and then you're saying one day, someday, somewhere, another time. Um. All this judgment that they placed on you. Oh, no, I was supposed to read it like this. Hang on a minute. Someone wanted to chase thrills, and they said someday, somewhere, sometime, that um, you all will be living wide open. Somebody's receiving a wake-up call. It could be a feminine out here. I think that it's a masculine because I know what come out. They're in despair, and they're falling apart, and they're sinking and feeling hopeless. It's somebody that you had a friendship with. It's a friend of yours, and somebody feels peace and balance. Look, look what I wrote in here. See my guitar? I told you my husband makes these stuff. Oh, God, don't turn it off. Sorry, you guys. I only to show y'all that. And somebody needs to chop wood. Chop wood with your little axe. Chop wood. I got a wood, uh, piece of wood in her to stick an axe in but I ain't got enough room for it up here I wanted to show you ain't it cool my things that my husband makes I love it but you're all uh this friend of yours they felt peace and balance with you and uh now they're receiving a wake-up call that that's why they're feeling helpless and and falling apart because they because they were sending mixed emotions to you they blocked their emotions they gotta get rid of all that clutter shit and uh and rejection they were sending mixed signals and they said no to you they dismissed you and and they wish they hadn't have did that uh, now they're thinking someday you'll come back and chase them someday you'll come back and chase them and i think they got a wake-up call like they've been reviewing that uh you're not going back. You're saying no. You dismiss this. You're like I, I'm not even. I'm not even receptive to rejection because I know I'm good enough. That's what it's saying to me. But this person is going to be in despair. That's how it is. Okay, you guys. That's what it is. All right. Let me move all these so I can put it out here for. And if y'all love my new cards, then y'all need to help me to uh, get around and hit like today. Thank you. Thank you much, Leech, you guys. I appreciate you. Okay, so what it said is... It says this person loves the way your body moves. Do you like my new card? I put music signs. They love the way your body moves. The planets are aligning to bring you twins together so you guys and gals can become a unified unit and be as one. Huh. See, that twin does how you move. Uh, Peterhead Mushroom House. Huh. They want to take you and hide away with you from the outside world. They want to show you the real person you've been needing in life was them. They got a mushroom for you now. They're bringing you a mushroom. Your twin is. They love your body and how it moves. They've been drowning in their emotions for you. They needed to speak up to you and to be honest with you, but they but they didn't. They they wasn't doing that, but now they want to. They might be taking you wanting to take you to a 
a beach, like a little cottage by the beach. Oh, God, you're getting ready to see my message of love is coming in hot and fast to you, baby. New cards, you love it. Oh, God, it's coming in fast. Ooh. It's, it's, this, it, this was your destiny to be unified with this person. It was your destiny. They, they, and they know it. They're figuring out that if this was your all's destiny. And, and the outcome of this situation is going to be in your favor. A new card. Do you love it? Ooh, it's going to be in your all's favor. Oh, gosh. And, oh, gosh, this person is the love of your life. It is true love, baby. Do you love my new heart card? I do, too. They want to kiss you, see? You want to get a message of love and a kiss. And they said, uh, I love this quote that you made by Pound Star Oracle Me. They said, we're going to grab our nuts up, buttercup, and get to it. It says, grab your nuts up, buttercup, and get to it. See, they're going to do that. Ooh, it's true love, baby. And uh, you're consciously manifesting this person into your life because you focus on it intently. And they can't stop thinking of you. You and them both keeps doing it. And uh, you, you both of y'all has your third eyes open. See, y'all know how to meditate and you get visions. You got visions that y'all supposed to be uh, in love. And y'all might be going to the beach to find some coconuts. Since them little nuts actually look like coconuts. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that was funny. And and they're going. You're all going to be so excited when you're all in this new relationship, and and, and uh, they think the stars up above are bringing you into their life. It's like y'all just fall right into each other's lap, and people see you both with high self esteem, and uh, because your all's gifts are here to help many different people from different walks, and your soul soul is joyous. See, your soul is joyous, and they know it, babes. And and you're a person of influence in your community and people like to listen to you because you've had a hard life and you've and you've lived a hard life and you can help steer the younger generations to their goals and dreams. Yeah, and your partner loves you for that. And I and I do do that for you all. And I keep telling y'all to go out your goals and dreams every day. I show you how. And and a good life was needed. Ha ha ha. Y'all y'all just laugh all the time. You, you you twins. Divine masculine's very action oriented. He's laughing. He's laughing about how, about all this stuff. Uh, and he knows that you all are supposed to heal all humanity. Infinity. This is my. This is our destiny. Look, the planets are aligning for you twins to be together and be as one because it's your destiny and not other people's to mess with. Because me and my masculine's supposed to help heal all humanity. I know that. And you're all rising up, and he wants to give you 69. I see that. And 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 he knows, and she knows that you both, you all rise above what other people drown in. Yeah. You're all people that knows how to, and and these people that, uh, 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 need to stop poking their nose into your all's relationships. And learn to tend to their life and leave yours alone, these nosy people. You rose above all these nosy sons of bitches. And that's why uh, you're getting good karma. It's it's working in your life at the moment. And these nosy people is getting bad karma. And they're getting bad karma because they thought you was weird simply because you was a joy to be around and you like to make people laugh and you do things differently. You can't fit a square peg in a round hole, people. You can't do that. So uh, you're getting good karma. And, and it's coming to you in the fall. Life feels refreshing in the fall. See? That's when um, this positive change is coming. And Divine Feminine sees your true value, Divine Masculine. She knows you're going to be a millionaire because she sees how hard you've been building that great legacy of light. See? See, Divine Feminine knows it. And she's been watching you, Divine Masculine. And don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Street lights, people. Oh, oh, oh. Remember the journey by journey. Hmm. He's remembering your all's journey. And uh and uh he also knows that you're all free birds and people are afraid of us ones who know ourselves. We got our own aura that all are drawn to magnetically. We rebel to the status quo so that others will be responsible and stand in their truths as we do. That's why people thought you was different because you left because you left a situation where you was being positive and they was letting on like you was a 
slut and being nosy in your relationship. Fuck that person. Yeah, and it's you, mothers. It's us out here. Mothers, we're free birds. And, and, and you're an inspiration to many for all your good works. And your angels guide you to the person meant for you. See? Your angels guide you to your destiny and to your person because you're an earth angel, a star seed. You have a greater purpose. They're finally understanding. Mother, that's what you are. Uh, uh, and it's the truth, what I just said, because I burped. And when the harvest moon comes, you will start seeing your business profit. <clears throat> so you already had a vision that your business is going to profit. And um, maybe you're like me, and, you know, I'm a part of the 144,000. Me and my mind's going to, and, and, and we're meant to come together for the greater good of all humanity. See? Keep on healing humanity because people know. And these angels are protecting you and watching over you in this whole endeavor. They sit and watch you at, at night for your protection. They sit and watch you, people that knows how to uh, use your third eye. And they know that they love you because you're a natural and unique woman all on your own, mothers. All you mothers out here, that's an inspiration. The angels is guiding you to... To the one who will be true to you. It's your destiny. The outcome is going to be in your favor. This is your true love, baby. They're grabbing their nuts up and they're coming to you. You're getting ready to receive a message from this person. And they're going to stick their mushroom in you. Oh, God, because you're all twins and you're supposed to come together because of this. Because you help heal all of humanity because you're from the 144,000. And Divine Masculine knows it now. And he sees... He sees your great legacy of light, and you, and you see his great legacy of light. And I love y'all. And in the fall, this, this earth angel, if you're a star seed, your earth angel's coming towards you. If you're, a, if you're an earth angel, your star seed's going to come towards you, and you're all just going to be off the hooks because y'all can't stop keep. Y'all can't stop thinking about each other, and it's coming in hot and heavy, and it's going to be such the best you ever had in your life. They love the way your body moves. They could watch you down all night. They wish they hadn't lied about their about their true feelings to you. They just wish they'd have been honest with you. Damn it, they're so mad they didn't. They're mad that these people poked their nose into y'all's relationship, these sons of bitches. And, but it's funny because they, they know that everybody around is getting their karma and you're all receiving good just because you you left these people in the dust. Oh, I love you guys. Y'all love me? Hit subscribe. I love you all today. I love each and every one of you. Now, remember, if you're a Scorpio, a Libra, a Cancer, a Taurus, a Pisces, or Aquarius, this, this reading's for you, and I love y'all. And y'all need to hit subscribe if you're new and help us read and get around. Peace, and I love you. And I'll see you back here after a while. Bye-bye. Love you guys.